Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Larry, if you're new to the show. Uh, we're not camping in this rig, but uh, I do, while well, I'm here, I'm still packing things up. You can kind of see I have stuff ready to go into the other camper. Uh, for the new people, I just want to do a little bit of an explanation. All right, so uh, this is my, I have a 40 foot fifth wheel, and this is it right here. There's Mason boy right there on the couch, little Marty. But uh, I, I originally bought this fifth wheel thinking I was gonna go boondocking in this and start the channel in this um, fifth wheel. And then I ended up having so many issues. I bought it, it was two years old and it had so many issues. It was in the shop all the time. And I just kept having to get Airbnbs. And then I ended up eventually just buying the truck camper that you guys all know and love that's in the, the channel right now. And that is what we do on the most videos. But um, I still own this, this fifth wheel. I still live in this about half the time. And then I live in the other truck camper or truck campers the other half of the time. But just so you guys know, I had some people asking too uh, of like a tour of the, the fifth wheel. But this is the bedroom right here. And it does have a full bathroom. I got a nice little like cubby area over here. Porcelain toilet. Really nice shower that I could stand up in. And then you got the mirror and the sink right there and then this goes out into the hallway and back down here into everything else got the kitchen so full size stainless fridge uh, nice size stove and oven microwave pretty decent sized kitchen pretty nice cabinets uh got a recliner sofa that one folds out as a bed plenty of storage up top and then over here, this is usually where I keep all my gear. Um, this is the cleanest it's been in probably a year. This is normally stacked full of stuff. I uh, I really like it, but it's just, it's hard to take camping places. So that's why we typically go in the truck camper. All right, let's get this stuff packed up in the truck. Uh, I still got to fuel up and we got to get rolling um, down the road. We got about four or five hour trip. And I did forget to tell you, um, this is the reason why we're going right here. It's a Tinkara rod. Uh, a lot of you guys probably don't even know what this is, but it's like the oldest form of fishing, like Japanese style fishing. Uh, we're going to use this. I'm going to meet up with Brian and we're going to go to Alpine, Arizona, and we're going to uh, go and find some streams, get out really, you know, remote, go do some camping, but we're also going to catch some trout. I'm so excited about this. Uh, let's get on the road. All right. All packed up on the road. Going to stop off at a Maverick gas station, fill up, and then... Uh, then get on the highway. Springerville, the gateway to the White Mountains. Pulling off here at the uh, Safeway. Wait a minute. Is that who I think it is over there? <laughs> hey, are you that YouTuber guy? <laughs> hey, I'm good. <laughs> all right, so we met up with Brian, uh, which was the plan all along. I was just kidding before, but uh, there he is right there in front of us. And we're heading up there and you can barely see it because it's raining, but up into the White Mountains. I've never been to the White Mountains to go camping and I'm so excited and it's already beautiful. We're just going through this canyon here, this road, and we're officially out of cell phone service for basically the whole time we're gonna be out here. There's no more cell phone service. This is why you need to make sure your fires are out. They had a big fire, just took out most of this forest out here. And it's been going on for miles. Seventy miles to the next services. All right, we found this uh, 
very rustic campground. There's no, no camp host here, no electricity, no water, no nothing. Uh, there is a bathroom right there. And then there's about five or six spots. It's just like this road right here it makes a loop, comes around and I'm in spot number four. You can see Brian's over there in spot number five. There are some uh, warning signs for bears. So I guess there's some, gonna be some bears up here. I will definitely keep an eye on the dogs right now. You can see they're in this kennel thing. This is kind of where we're gonna do like the centralized camp. Um, that way we can just keep an eye on the dogs. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get camp set up. My camper is way downhill. I even piled some rocks on the front end, but it's still pointed downhill. It's just all the spots are on a hill for some reason. Okay, I think you can see a lot better. The camera is level and my nose is definitely downhill right here but i stacked all the rocks i could up front that's as high as i can get the front end i'm just gonna have to deal with it but we're gonna go ahead and get camp set up well good morning uh yeah i was yesterday was just such a long day that after i got to camp and started unpacking everything uh, it was getting cold and I was just getting tired and um, Brian and I were just chatting for about an hour and I ended up going to bed about eight o'clock. So um, I don't know, got up early, getting things ready now to go fishing and try out the new Tenkara rod. He's almost ready, already ate breakfast and had coffee and all that stuff. Um, but I just have to grab the dogs and get them ready and get my water and then I think we're ready to go. We got like a, a mile or two hike to get to the creek. There I am, camped up there. I got my camper all locked up. Here's Brian's new camper, his tune. Up oh, truck camper. Uh, we'll do a tour of that on this video. Look at this like meadow we're in right here. This valley between these two hills is just beautiful. Look at all the yellow from all those aspen trees. What's up there, Marty? We're gonna go fishing today, buddy. <laughs> He's so excited. <laughs> Come on. on our first little pond, but nothing's in that. Yeah, a little too small. I think we're gonna have to get down a little bit further with our flows, but a bit better. All right, continue hiking. We just came down off the edge of that hill right there. Marty's getting his exercise in today. <laughs> He's making up for the five or six hours he was locked up in a kennel in the truck driving yesterday and uh, it's a high volume purifier and so what's nice about it is is you can throw it in the water here and this is like the intake and it's got a little mesh grid on it so you don't get any particles in but then it's a pump and so you can jam through I can do five gallons in about 25 minutes wow yeah yeah right. so it's called the MSR Guardian is what this is called cool That's uh, like the flow. I'll show you the flow. Just so people get an idea how much comes out. It's not, it's not a ton, but it's enough to where, you know, you can fill up your Nalgene bottle pretty fast. And it takes a while to fill up your containers, but it's free water and it's it's really good. Thank you. Come here, dude. Go over it. Go over the top. Right here. Here you go. Jump. <laughs> no. Okay. I was carrying Mason, or I was carrying Marty, but he refused to be held. He wanted down. He wants to work off some steam. So we're actually heading back. Uh, the trail just got too thick and uh, too many thorns, and I don't know. The, it wasn't looking promising. The creek seemed to start, to, you know, getting smaller. And we just weren't sure how much further to walk. So we decided we're just going to turn around. And uh, I think we're going to pack up camp and go to a different location. But we got about a, I don't know, mile and a half, two miles back to camp, hike. And then start packing up. There's camp right there.
Leaving the campsite, heading to the Black River now. Looks like it's clouding up. Might end up getting a little storm here in a little bit. Well, we're off-roading it now. Um, it's not too bad. Luckily, it's not real rocky, but um, these one-ton trucks like this just have diesel exhaust tanks hanging down low. You got um, the rear end. I mean, a lot of stuff hangs down low under this. It's not meant for off-roading. Luckily, this isn't too bad. I don't feel like it should damage the truck or the camp or anything. I just have to pay attention, make sure I don't <laughs> I center on a big boulder or something. Oh boy, we got a rocky spot up here now. Let's go real slow. This is recording. Okay. Don't worry, dude. I'm gonna do a good job recording for your YouTube channel, buddy. All right, so we gotta clear these boulders around here. Okay, just stay that way just a tad. All right, you're good. All right, man. I think we're I think we're set. Made it through. All right. Thank yeah. you. Looking good. Okay, we're leaving the truck running with the dogs in it. We're just gonna go walk over this hill here and see if the camp spot that we're looking for is available. Hopefully it is. All right, this is the spot we were aiming for, but there's no way we can get my truck. Uh, we're parked up there at the top of the hill. There's no way we could get the truck down there. It's too much off road. Too many rocks. But this would have been a prime spot right here to just go over here and you look over and there's a river here. So it's feeding in this way and it's feeding in this way. So it's kind of this peninsula right here and it's gorgeous. But for sure, this would have been a, a mini camper expedition spot right here. But I don't think I can do it with the dually. Oh, look at this. You hear that white water. Yeah, so you got river coming in right here, and then river right here, and then that is the pool we're gonna be fishing tomorrow. Or tonight, maybe, possibly. Just depends on, <laughs> just depends on if we can hike back and forth one more time. We just started, we were standing right there, and we're already complaining. Man, it sucks getting old. It's like, yeah. my mind just wants to, just do this all day long and then my body's like, no, that's that's not gonna Yeah, body's like, why don't you go back and just take a nap? What <laughs> yeah. the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, just sit down, watch some YouTube, yeah. take a nap, you know. Make some fry, food. fry up a steak, yeah. drink a beer. That sounds so much better for some reason right now. <laughs> yeah, don't go anywhere, fish. We're coming tomorrow. Yeah. We're coming for you. <laughs> this is the uh the off-road portion I'm thinking the truck's not gonna do very well with, especially with the weight of the camper. Not gonna happen. Waiting on a YouTuber to finish filming. <laughs> Just kidding, Brian. <laughs> hey, what's up, YouTuber? What's up? What are you doing? Oh, you know. Just taking mad content. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the sun's going down pretty quick, but uh, we did get camp set up. We're kind of still on a big peninsula. So the rivers, there's a river on this side and a river on this side, and then they converge. It's kind of straight that direction and uh he already went down just a few minutes ago and tried to fish this area and he said it was too hard to get to that for sure we can we can fish tomorrow but uh i think we if depending on how good the fishing is we might be here a couple days and uh who knows maybe we'll go over there and try that or try this way but upstream a little bit whatever before sun goes down it's getting dark pretty quick but um at least now i'm like perfectly level right there uh the last camp I was pointed downhill quite a bit and I just kept wanting to roll to the front of the camper. It was kind of annoying last night. So I'm definitely looking forward to tonight. I think I'm going to sleep really good. Well, good morning. 
Uh, it's been a pretty slow morning. Haven't really done much other than drink some coffee. And we got a fire going. <laughs> you guys playing? He just got this. It's a Tune M1 camper, yeah. right? Yeah, Tune Outdoor. Tune Outdoor, and it is so cool because it's so light, and uh, and it comes down, folds down like that. It's obviously a pop-up camper, and it's just so cool that he's still able to go off-roading with it and uh and not have all that excess top heavy weight kind of like what i have and it's just such a nice rig so yeah this is the tune outdoor m1 camper uh weighs less than 500 pounds coming into the back here what they did was they bumped it out a couple i don't know six eight inches on each side and that just gives it the the width to where you can have a queen size bed over the entire cab of the truck and it doesn't come into the bed of the truck because the, the problem with these Tacomas and a lot of mid-sized trucks is that it's just a small space to work with and you just don't have a whole lot of living room. But this thing feels huge on the inside. Other than that, oh, and then I got 270 watts of panels on the roof. So that helps power the solar. And uh, I've got a little max fan, if you look in there. Right. And, and the main thing though is that bed. It, dude, it's so comfortable and it's huge. For, for a five foot mid-sized pickup truck bed this is an amazing living space plus you have like halo lighting right that goes all the way around uh -huh. like yeah here this. let me turn it on and then it's on a, on a dimmer so you can yeah and i bet that looks really cool at night oh man it looks awesome all right so we're going to start kind of packing things up uh to go down and go fishing he's actually going to end up camping down there if i would have had the mini truck camper i could have gone down there and camped in that really cool prime spot that we saw yesterday but i'm gonna be stuck up here that's all right though we'll come up here later tonight after we do some fishing and then uh you know maybe we'll cook us a nice dinner or something tonight but for right now i'm gonna go catch some trout on my brand new fishing pole <laughs> Come on, pups. Yeah, we gotta climb down this. Oh, I can't wait. All right, let's get down here, pups. I'm gonna have to shut the camera off for this. All right, just had to climb down right there and come down off these rocks, holding both dogs at the same time because neither one wanted to come down. <laughs> so we got down here to the intersection of the river here, and then there's a, uh, barbed wire fence that runs right here and it goes all the way up the hill this way and the spot we want to fish that big pool is right over here so we have to cross the river jump that fence and then go over to that area but uh the, is there Hi, bud. So Marty's over there. We're just behind the bushes with uh, with Brian. And I had to just make one trip over with Marty. And now I'm gonna grab Mason and my bag and try to do one last trip over. All right, we made it over. Brian, Marty's over there. Meadow's back there. All right, last stretch. It takes, it's taken us multiple days, <laughs> two different campsites, and we almost gave up and left because we didn't see the, the, the way through that. We didn't see the gate, but we're finally here. All right, so we made it down here. Brian has already kind of like looked at this whole pool and he doesn't really see any fish in there. I mean, the water is that clear. You can see all the way through it, but there might be a few tucked off and little corners here and there. So he's gonna throw his pole out a few times, see if he can't catch anything before I even rig mine up because since this is a brand new pole, it's gonna take a second to rig it all up. Uh, but we might've come all the way to this location for absolutely no reason. We'll see though. But if we don't catch anything here, uh, there is one more place we're talking about going that's a little ways further down the road. It's a lot bigger of a river and uh we should be able to camp like kind of right on the water so we could spend a lot more time fishing we shouldn't have to climb through a bunch of rocks and and brush and fences and stuff to get to that location to be able to fish 
The pressure's on, Brian. We're watching. I'm not seeing anything. I've got no activity on my fly tool for it. No activity, he's saying. Hasn't seen anything. If anything, we can drink room temperature beer. Mm. Still nothing. Not only am I not getting the action, I'm not even seeing one fish. You haven't seen any fish? That's, that's weird. <laughs> Come on, bud. Let's go. Let's go back to camp. Let's go. Okay, he's staying back there. I'm hiking back to my truck with the dogs. Of course, I got double the backpack on <laughs> just because I don't have, I don't want to make two trips. But uh, it's not too far of a hike. It's all uphill, though. That's kind of a bummer. We're almost there. You can see the truck way over there. Come on, guys. Let's go. We're almost there. Let's go. Uh, It wouldn't be too bad if it wasn't for the two backpacks. It's just like having 20 extra pounds on my chest. That's all right, though. We're almost there. Half tempted to open some windows and take a little nap. It's a little early in the day. Too early to make dinner. Yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. All right, well, I just woke up from an hour and a half nap. Feeling pretty good. Um, I just got word from Brian. He radioed over and said that um, the mosquitoes are starting to like come out of the, the the creek area and come up towards his camp because he's quite a bit lower down off of this hill than I am. So um, he just said it's just getting too bad. So he's going to be heading up here shortly. Well, I thought that uh, this tin cara rod fishing, the hardest part was going to be the fishing part of it, but I'm starting to figure out that the hardest part is finding a place to fish. We're, we're two for two for O or however that works. We're not winning right now, but hopefully he said he's been to the next one. Uh, he's basically guaranteeing that we're going to get into some good fishing over there. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that tomorrow. Hopefully we can end this video with me at least catching a fish. <laughs> You see Meadow? Murky, murky, murky. Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh, don't knock my table and coffee over. <laughs> oh boy. Hey. Okay. All right now. All right, check this spot out. This looks like it belongs in a magazine. I think Brian outdid himself. Check out that ranch way off in the distance. Can you imagine living there? I'll show you the best part though. We got this right outside of our camp. We haven't determined if there's fish in here yet, but I mean, come on, we're going to have this just right outside of camp right here. So this Tenkara rod comes in this um, tube right here. Then once you unscrew the end of the tube, there's this uh, felt sleeve inside. You pull that out. Inside that felt sleeve will be this right here. And then you can see it's just telescopic. So it's the fishing pole all just collapsed down into a small, easy to carry thing for when you're backpacking or whatever. So this rod in particular goes out to be 11 feet long. And as you already noticed, 
or maybe you can see it's already stringed up so we're going to get out there and uh, it's getting to be evening so hopefully we can catch us some sort of trout out in this creek right now oh and i still don't think i've even uh fully explained what this is i mean it is fly fishing but it's at its most basic form uh it's going to be the equivalent of like a bamboo stick with a string at the end is, is all it is it's just this is the newer version of that i don't know if you can see it but we got a little green fly hooked to right here to the end of the handle which is what we're going to be throwing and we're just going to throw this upstream and let it roll downstream and uh, float on top of the water and uh, hopefully we can catch fish You guys might have a hard time seeing it floating out there, but a little fly is just floating on top of the water. I'm gonna try to keep the string a little taut. So if a fish comes up and takes that little fly, then I can just pull it right out of the water. Let it float down as far as I can let it go. And I just pull it back. Let it float back down again. Well, no dice. It looks perfect for fish like trout. I mean, it's perfect. Some really, you know, a couple deep spots, some pools for them to, to gather up in. And uh, so far, neither one of us has seen any fish really. He caught a little tiny one about the size of your palm of your hand across, but that's it. We're kind of stumped why there's nothing here. Good morning. Still haven't caught any fish. I don't even think I'm gonna go back out today. I'm not sure. Um, he's still deciding on if he's gonna go out. I just don't think this is the right spot to be finding fish. I don't know. We don't have Starlink. We don't have. We haven't had cell phone service in days, so we can't really check online to see if maybe this time of year they're up further you know upstream further or downstream further or whatever we can't even see what's going on so we're just out here guessing trying different places um but it's okay even though we didn't catch any fish um it's still been a really fun time yeah he's just let me out just open the gate <laughs> Enjoy life more. Larry Mason and Marty explore in the great outdoors, finding their peace. Every day's a journey where he sings. 